I'm finishing up a one day intermittent fast today and I feel amazing. And I always want to talk about this because I feel like there's so many misnomers out there about fasting, what it is and what it can do for you. A lot of people just assume that fasting is like some unhealthy way to starve yourself. And if you have an eating disorder, it might be something that you want to avoid. But fasting has also been practiced by all humans everywhere since the beginning of human history, either intentionally for spiritual reasons or unintentionally because of the ebb and flow of food over the course of the year. Now we eat all the time and our bodies long term in terms of human history have not been adapted to doing that. We're also eating a lot more processed foods and those are foods that our body does not know how to process well. These foods lead to inflammation and things like blood sugar issues and insulin resistance. The best thing that I personally know and have researched and found to work to help to long-term address all of the concerns of aging, as well as insulin and blood sugar issues, is intermittent fasting. I've been reading this amazing book called The Great Cholesterol Myth, and these doctors in here are talking about all the different studies that have been done on cholesterol and how actually our insulin levels are a much greater indication of future problems with heart disease, cancer, diabetes, obviously, than anything. And so it's helped me to recommit myself to a regular fasting practice to help to give the body a chance to rest, to recover, to go into autophagy, which is when the body starts to self-clean. And how I generally feel at the end of a fast is very energized. It also increases your ATP, your energy molecule, and helps your mitochondria function so much better. There's a specific intermittent fasting protocol that I've used for the last eight and a half years that is much easier to do than straight up fasting because you support your body with botanicals that aid the body in getting rid of the products of its cleaning process while you're fasting and also helps to keep your blood sugar steady as you're doing this. So if you're interested about that, you can DM me and I can shoot you the info. But if you've never considered fasting and you are concerned about how you age, the diseases of aging, even how you look when you age, you should look at some intermittent fasting, some 16-8 or one day or two day fasts, because nothing that I have ever experienced and nothing that I've researched will do the work against those scary things as much as giving the body a break and letting it get deeper into the cells, getting rid of junk and getting processes working better again. Again. If you've had fasting experience, I would love to hear about it below, especially any tips and tricks you would have for a new faster.